Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a formant lead using formant filters from Serum. And in the end, we will compare it with other formant leads that I created with different plugins. Let's start. What is formant? Well, formant is a range in a spectrum of a sound that is enhanced by a resonance. Let's open up the patcher. I have a pure uh, saw wave oscillator here. And the signal is routed to three independent equalizers. Let's open up the first one. Activate bandpass filter. Make it tiny. And type value 280 hertz. Now open up the second. Do the same thing. Type the value 1800. make it even more narrow and in the in the third one type the value 2920 okay so now we have a free independent uh, bandpass filters and they create a vowel yeah, you can clearly hear that we have created uh, a vowel. Now let's change uh, those frequencies to create a different vowel. For example, U. So, 290 hertz. Six hundred and eighty. And. 2320. Let's have a listen. Now we have you. Okay, so basically these are formants, a filters that create vowels. Now uh, I want to do the same with Serum and the uh, thing is actually pretty easy here because you don't have to use three independent equalizers. The only thing you have to do is choose uh, a filter. I have a um, sequence here, maybe let's listen to the sequence first. Okay, and uh, I created also a sequence in Serum that sounds like this. So it's a basic saw wave, and this um, this sequence uh, is matching our baseline. But uh, when you open the Serum, just go straight to the filter section, choose uh, one of those free formats. Let's choose uh, the first one. And as you can see, we have like a few bandpass filters here that we can uh, move around and uh, go through one, uh, one vowel to another. If you increase the resonance, uh, you actually increase the, the power of those uh, vowels. They become more um, precise. When you move the cutoff uh, filter, yeah, you clearly move around those vowels. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create an automation. While holding shift, I will create this kind of a sample and hold and modulation. 
and I increase the number of uh, uh, slots to the 16. So we have 16 16s in the bar, and of course activate uh, the length of this modulation for one bar. Actually, you can do it in any way you want. And uh, put this LFO for cutoff filter, uh, set the range that you want at this modulation, and uh, let's play it. Okay, so as you can see, I have it on the eighth, eighth number. Uh, mixer channel and I do have some uh, basic uh, EQ here I'm gonna activate it I also have a, a gatekeeper here with some volume modulation and I have a, a simple delay and uh, the whole thing sounds like this yeah, it's a very nice sound. Um, four months are very useful in Citrus music because uh, when you apply this kind of filter to almost any uh, wave, uh, you can come up with a very, very cosmic and the robotic textures, which are very useful for Citrus music. Anyway, let's uh, move through different formats. This one is also nice. Let's check the third one. I think I will stay with the first one. Yeah, you can go one octave down. And it also sounds very good. Anyway, let's check uh, how it sounds with the whole sequence. So in a very simple way, just in a few steps, we have a good sounding uh, four-month lead. Uh, as you can see here, I prepared uh, uh, four-month leads with different plugins. And basically, uh, this is the same technique. Uh, all those uh, leads are in the same mixer channel. So we have the same gate, the same uh, EQ, we have the same delay. But uh, let's compare how sound how different filters in different plugins sounds. Uh, so let's check the Ana too. So as you can see, I have almost the same modulation as in Serum. Uh, and we have like uh, five filters here. Let's check the second one. Yeah, it sounds very nice. Um, I think I like it even more than uh, those filters from Serum. But let's check uh, the third one. Yeah, 
Yeah, very nice. I like those formant uh, filters from Anna. Uh, but let's check uh, the pigments. Uh, we actually only have one filter, one formant filter in pigments. Uh, so I applied uh, a sample and hole modulation. And uh, let's see how it goes with uh, the sequence. Okay, and now let's check uh, the last one from Massive. Now let's go to Serum. Okay, so we compared actually four different plugins, four different uh, filters, source for the filters, uh, for the four-month filters. And which one did you like the best? Because in my opinion, the best one is from Massive, but there is one big difference because all the three uh, other uh, plugins, Serum, Ana and Pigments, we used filters and in Massive, we don't use a formant filter, we use wavetable. So we're actually modulating through the wavetable. You can actually do the same thing in Serum, uh, but uh, in Serum we have those formant filters. Anyway, um, my favorite is Massive, then Ana too, because it's very sharp. Uh, then the third one is Serum, and the last one is Pigments. So you can uh, point out in the comments which one do you like the best. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Have a good day. Peace! <laughs>